is uh, to troubleshoot the NEMA 2000 power cable. Okay, so I have um, this rat wire clipped to the rat port, rat terminal, and this is a test light that has the rat plug plugged to that. So now I'm just trying to see if the power is getting to this fuse here and it is as you can see and it is passing to the other side of the fuse so the fuse is good I'm just gonna close it So what I'm going to check is I'm going to check the NEMA port to see if the power is going into is coming it, it, the power is going in from here to the negative there. Okay. So oh, there we go. You see that? Not that port, this port. This is the positive. So this is not lit. This is not lit. This middle part is not lit. But this one is lit. So if you look into this male NEMA 2000 port and there's this growth, this protruding part in the at the 12 o'clock, as you can see here, and the first one to the left, which is the positive port of this NEMA 2000. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna plug into here, that my, my uh, 3T connectors. Then I'm going to try to see if okay. So in there, those are the power port and I think that plug is the positive because this is the growth here so that's the positive so I'm gonna try to tap into there see if it lit up no it's not lighting up not that not that oh so it's this one so the power is coming to this here as you can see so this NEMA pour is good because I didn't power the command link. Um, I didn't turn on the switch. So this NEMA 2000 is powered up from, from this middle T connector. And this is the Yamaha gateway power drop cable. So you can see this is the male port this is the other port that connect to the 6YG 8A2D0 Yamaha data gateway. So I'm just going to push this in because it is getting power. I'm going to try to connect, disconnect this one too and try to see. So the power is coming from this red wire through the fuse. And this black wire and feeds into this middle, this, this NEMA 2000 drop cable and feeds into this middle T here. And it's passing power to this T that's connect to my Yamaha data engine 
engine data interface 6YG 8A2D0 as you can see there and it's also the power 12 volts power is also passed to this guy here which connects to my axiom multifunction display so I'm gonna try to so the NEMA is energized because it does have the 12 volts power okay here we go so it this is the growth and this is the plug as you can see here slid up so that tells you the NEMA is energized from from this from this uh, middle T that connect to the power connect to the 12 volts power so the NEMA is totally energized so let's go to this terminator resistor here at the end see if this is energized and this is a male port and I think this port is a female port yeah so you can see this backbone here one end of the backbone is the ma male port five pins in there and the other end is the female port as you can see here so I'm gonna put the and the resistor only has two male ports or male pins in there it's probably positive and negative you know so let me see if there's power in here yeah you can see this is the growth and towards me there's power so I'm gonna close this resistor with the growth line up and then push it in and then twist turn the NEMA 2000 backbone same thing over here okay so what I did this test light is one end this rat wire rat plug is connected to the 12 volts battery so if there's a connection and you can see this is the growth so this is the this one this is the power so you can see the 12 volt 12 volts power is also going into this NEMA 2000 backbone as you can see here okay so it is working so the NEMA 2000 network is energized and the command link is also energized when I turn on the um, switch so now the data is not coming in um, I'm gonna try to connect so this is the gateway to the multi-hub and I'm gonna try to see go up to here so this is the NEMA 2000 and this is the command link and I'm going to connect connect well the NEMA 2000 is already connected yeah it's already connected right here you know to the uh, Axiom uh, dual cable which is the NEMA 2000 network cable data cable and this wire is for the power so I'm gonna plug this into my Axiom fish finder which is supposed to go like that here we have there you have it so now I'm gonna connect the engine cable which is here plug into this multi-hub but before I do that 